What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to do my top five upcoming games that I'm super hyped for because I'm still not done with Final Fantasy 7 Remake yet. Uh, about over halfway through the story so I'm going to go ahead and get some more videos out for you guys. But that's soon coming. But for now guys, enjoy my top five games. Well, not top five, but you know. Five of the games that's coming up that I'm really excited for. There's lots more. Be sure, let me know if I missed anything down in the comments. If there's any games I should be looking out for. I appreciate every one of you guys. Enjoy the video. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy this content, leave a like on the video. Okay, so the first one is Halo Infinite. Comes out later this year on the Xbox. I'm so pumped on this, you guys already know if you're an OG member. But yeah guys, let me know down in the comments if you're excited for this game. The graphics look amazing, the story looks good. I'm so hoping that this is going to be really good. The Halo is going to come back. It's kind of coming up, you know what I mean? I played the Halo MCC PC Edition. And I'm loving it. I'm so excited. Can't wait for the Halo 3 to come out. Man, I'm going to vegetate on Halo 3 MCC PC. It's so good to see that beautiful game in 4K, you know, 60 frames. Oh, it's so awesome, guys. You have to play it. Even this trailer here gets me every time. You know what I mean? It just, because uh, I'm a dad, so it kind of makes me sad when I see some of the parts and the trailer, man. They did such a good job. And the graphics look good. It doesn't matter to me if it's 8K or not. I could care less about that. But... I just want a good Halo, guys. I want another good Halo because I'm so excited to finally be playing Halo again. I think Halo 3 is my favorite. I played it for years. You know, when it first came out, I had a, I was in a clan. I did all kinds of things. Man, I'm so pumped for Halo, guys. Number two is Diablo 4. I'm so pumped for this game, guys. The graphics in this trailer look so amazing. The CGI is so beautiful. I love the CGI. I'm so psyched, guys. I don't know when it's supposed to come out because right now I guess I just have like a teaser trailer. It's like 10 minutes long or whatever. But uh, I'll have it up here for you guys. But every time I watch this trailer, I get so pumped for it. I'm so excited to finally be playing it, guys. I hope they do better with this one. You know, they kind of had some uh, rocky parts with Diablo 3. But it was still a really good game. Still on a lot of different systems now. They've turned it around quite a bit. And uh, even when it first came out, it still wasn't that bad. They just had like some stuff, you know. And, uh... I don't know, but I still loved it because I played it when it first came out. The story looks good. I'm hoping that they can make another Diablo game even better than 3. The way this is looking, guys, and the effort they put into this trailer. But, you know, they can have good trailers and still have a bad game. But I'm hoping not. I want another Diablo. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have heard about this game. If you're excited about it. Number 3 is Resident Evil 3. Perfect for this spot. What do you guys think about it? Just came out. I'm super excited for it. But I got Final Fantasy 7 Remake because <laughs> it's Final Fantasy 7, come on. But I'm still going to play Resident Evil 3. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it on my PC or my PS4 Pro. I'm kind of leaning PC just because that's what I usually play it on. Just so I get the best graphics out of it. The graphics in this game, oh my gosh. Capcom always does a really, really good job with their CGI, their graphics, their gaming. They've done such a good job bringing all of these games back from the dead. And remaking them into these beautiful, beautiful games that they are. Because, yes, they're a remake, but at the same time, they've put so much love and effort into every one of these remakes, guys. I like Resident Evil. I'm a huge fan of it. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for Resident Evil 3. If you've already got to play it, what you thought of it. I am so excited for this game, guys. Number four is Doom Eternal. Super excited about it, guys. What do you think about Doom? They've come a long way. They just released Eternal, I think last week or week before or whatever. Another game that I have to get and play. I might get Doom first before Resident Evil 3. It's such a hard choice because all of these amazing games are coming out at the same time, guys. <laughs> oh, man. It's so hard to choose, you know what I mean, from all these things. But I think I'm kind of leaning towards Doom just because they've come so far. I played the last Doom that came out. They have brought this game so far from what it used to be, guys. And it's so much fun. If you guys like scary games, shoot demons, amazing graphics, you have to try this game. You have to play it. I have the trailer here for you guys. And just from the looks of this and the, all the gameplay I've seen, 
and uh, some of the reviews. Man, they've done such a good job. I'm so hyped to freaking play this game. I'm gonna go all the way through it because the last Doom I played, and I got about halfway through the game. I don't remember why I stopped, but I think I'm gonna get that one on my PS4 Pro just because it's a little bit easier for me to get it that way. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking about getting that next, guys. What do you think about it? It's got amazing graphics. They do such a good job with all their CGI and, and all their stuff in the game. It's so much fun, the stories. Man, it, <laughs> I died a lot in the last one. I'm so excited for it, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have already got to play it. If you're going to play it. Number five is Cyberpunk 2077. Unfortunately, it's been delayed till the end of the year sometime, but... I'm hoping that it'll be worth it, guys, because just like Final Fantasy VII Remake, it was delayed, and look how that game turned out. Sometimes a delay could be, you know, good. They could be working out bugs. They could be doing other things. They have time to polish it more. It's definitely worth it in the long run, as long as they're still polishing the game, guys. The graphics are insane. The story, the gameplay, the way you have to go through the game, and all the different things. It just looks so cool, guys. I've been wanting to play this game forever and ever and i know you guys have too let me know down in the comments what you think about cyberpunk if you think the delay is going to be good i know it's kind of frustrating but man you just have to take your time focus on other games there's lots of other good games out there guys focus on them and then before you know it cyberpunk will be out and you'll be playing it just like final fantasy 7 remake guys and that's my top five coming out this year it's not my top five but it's just five games that are coming up that I'm psyched for, guys. If there's any that you guys are psyched for, let me know. And uh, I'll read your guys' comments. Check them out. I will have my Final Fantasy VII Remake review out eventually this week. Hopefully, I still have to beat the game. Because there's definitely a lot more to it than what I thought. Which is a good thing. I just figured it was going to be like you know a 35-40 minute story or whatever. And then it was going to end. But no, there's so much more to this game, guys. And uh, I'm thinking there's even like some secret bosses and stuff, and there's all this, this stuff that I didn't even know was in there. So I'm just trying to take my time, enjoy it, and then eventually I'll bring you guys my review, my thoughts on it. I'll put the link down in the description for you guys. You can check out my initial thoughts on it and what I thought about it for my first 10 hours of gameplay. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you right now, guys, it is definitely, definitely a masterpiece. Definitely one of the best games I've ever played. And uh, I got to get off here so I can play for a couple hours before I go to work. Because uh, I work construction, but uh, yeah, and then I do this on the side. But uh, I appreciate every one of you guys, all my subscribers, everyone. And I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.